Hello gamers, welcome to another episode of Fire Emblem 9 Path of Radiance. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a, a good time around, you know, doing good in life and all that. And if you're not, that's okay. You know, it's hard. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life either, so... You know, we, we understand each other. <laughs> uh, welcome to Chapter 2, Rescue. In the last episode, I think we just did the first official X mission as a mercenary. And it went pretty well. I must say, it went pretty well. Uh, especially Oscar uh, was kicking ass. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but it's good. I like it. <laughs> it's a good thing to happen. Um, and talking about good things to happen. Um, chapter 2, Rescue, is about to begin. Let's just get right into it. Right? Let's get right into it. Let's see how it goes. I'm very chill right now. I just had lunch. Although it smells like seafood from, from my windows. Let's see what happens. We're finally gonna get a healer, huh? There it is. It's Reese. I don't know how it's, if it's pronounced Reese or Rice. I guess it's Rice, right? Oh, Titania. I guess you guys can tell me. So, where you've been? This is where you've been, is it? Rice. Are you sure you're well enough to be up? Yes, my fever's completely gone. You sure? You still look a bit unsteady on your feet, if you ask me. That's pretty much how he is. Well, I've been in bed for almost a week. That anyone would be in top form. Even you, my friend. Certainly hope that that's all it is. In any case, until you're back at full speed, I won't be doing any work. We're mercenaries, after all, and even the smallest laps invites death, right? I know, I know. Apologies for the rest of the team, then. It looks like I'll be recuperating for a while longer. I guess we're not getting a healer. <laughs> that's for the best. Take your time and get fully rested and restored. Couldn't you use a staff on yourself? <laughs> That'll be great. You're a soul staff wielder, Freeze. It's a harder our work, the more we depend on you to be at our sides. Thank you for your kind words. Oh, by the way, that paper you've been carrying around, is it a letter? I did. I did tend to go in town this afternoon. I can deliver it for you if you like. Oh no, this letter's for you, Titania. For me? Not more than a while ago, I went out for a walk around the yard and a man I've never seen before came up to me and said, Give this to the Red Tress Knight. How curious. I wonder what the word it is. Imagine it's a thank you letter from the people of Caldea or something up to that effect. Or is it? Oh no! How oh, dare they! <laughs> I tell you, what's the matter? What did the letter say? Rice. Take this letter to Oscar and tell him to prepare for combat and wait for me. I have to go off for a moment. Oh, but Titania? I'll be right back. I'm counting on you. What on earth could that have led said? Oh shit, we still don't know. Oh baby. This song is great. Everyone, come quickly! Hey, Rice. So, how are you feeling? What is it? Why are you so agitated? Has something happened? It's Mr. Roth. They've been taken by bandits. Oh no. What? What are you talking about? Two of them went early this morning, gathered wildflowers. Sure they're not back yet, but... Earlier by the gate, a man asked to deliver a letter to Titania. It was a, a form of group bandits, kidnappers. Damn, scum! What are we going to do? I see it. Oh, if only I had known. He didn't seem like a bad person. <laughs> I get it. They're after revenge. They want retribution for the other day at the village. Caldea, was it? Hmm. Taking children as hostages? What cowards! Tell them. Blast! Wait, Ike, where do you think you're going? Or would you get missed? No, Titania, she says we'll be right back. She's supposed to get ready to wait for her. And do you think we've got the time and wait? I'm going. You think you're going to do on your own, rookie? Hold it, I'm going too. Stop, both of you. I I I'm going with you. <laughs> oh, come on, wait. This is crazy. You think you just ignore Japanese commander's orders? They don't give a fuck. Ah! The rashness of youth. Am I right? Uh, it's kind of fun though, kidnapping children. I wonder if they, I don't remember if they ask money for that or if they just want to just kill them as like, just pure revenge, just kill children. Very good. <laughs> Road folks here. 
Well, which do we go? Which way do we go? Am I supposed to know that? Hold it. You said you don't know where we're going? Unbelievable. You better learn, <laughs> you better learn to think before you act, you moron. Shut your mouth, Void. I lowered a bit the, volu the, the volume uh, for this part and the next, maybe. So you guys can tell me if it's like too low or if it's good enough. I think it's okay, but uh, no, you never know. I can always just rise it up on post-production anyways. <laughs> post-production. Post-recording, I should say. Both of you, it's no time to be fighting. I figured we would fight you like this. What are you two doing? We're coming, we're coming after all? It's not all you, you chambermaids to be disobeying orders. What's the world coming to? Oscar, you know this road, don't you? Which way do we go? You're going to the bandit stronghold, right? It's left fork. Everyone knows the bandit stronghold around here. <laughs> Got it. Still taking, still talking here. Let me finish what I, <laughs> come on Oscar, let's go too. Jeff, I guess we have no choice. Hey. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. This chapter was pretty... It's not easy, if I remember. So you came, did you, boys? Ikanao. Looks like a Japanese gangster. <laughs> Is it you, then? You came along? You seriously understand what we're capable of doing to you. Now, where's that snobby red-haired wedge to ride with? You ride with. That is not here, it's just us. All I want to do is, is whether Mr. Rolf are safe. Yeah, of course. We got him locked up and safe. And sound. In that little shack back there. We got no problem with those brats. We're after the little, is a little revenge. We want the redhead and her pops. That'd be you, boys. Hurry up and let the two go. We're here, aren't we? We've got more reason to hold them. They're here, but Red ain't. We'll just keep the brats until she arrives. Dang it! So, if you're so impatient, I guess we can start by killing you, whelps. You all ready to die? Hey, come on out. It's time to play, lads. Oh. There are so many. We must not lose. Rice. Rice, move on to the rear. If anyone gets injured, we'll need you on hand with your staff. Indeed, indeed. On the suit. Take him, lads. Without the red hair, neither. No match for us. Did you say dirtbag? We'll make you regret yours words. <laughs> This is it. It was just four units against a plethora of enemies that came to kill us all. There's a lot of enemies here. And they charged at you at the beginning, so it's pretty pretty tough uh, first turns. Uh, the strategy for this map is a pretty short map once again. Can I remove this menu stuff? Hold on. Oh, there you go. It's done. Yeah, it is like the buttons menu, but it's done already. Whatever. Um, yeah, you're gonna get charged by all these enemies. We're gonna try to make use of the enemy's turn. Um, and pretty much the first turn is just survive as much as you can and protect Reese. Uh, we're gonna talk about Rice in a second. Um, yeah, let's just talk about him. So, Rice is a healer, he's a priest, has 22 HP, he has zero defense. He has zero defense. So. He will die. Like, on the early game, he's one of the units that's most likely to die. Very useful unit as a staff user, of course. Um, here comes D with staves, but he's so frail, he will die very easily, so you must protect him at all costs. Uh, but apart from that, he's just, uh, you know, a resistance tank, although we didn't find mages yet, so it has no purpose in that sense. And also, just zero defense, very hard to keep him alive. He's just pretty good at healing, because that's the only thing he can do. And that's pretty much it. That's Reese. Uh, in the lanes, you know, advancing through the game with him, he's probably gonna be the reason of, you know, you restarting most maps. <laughs> As a healer, he's just okay. He can use powerful staffs later and then like white magic, but it, it, isn't, it even is that strong uh, anyways. So, it's just not very good, sadly. But he's very useful healing, uh, and that's why we're gonna preserve him as a healer. He fills, of course, the role of a healer on each Fire Emblem team, which is crucial. So we gotta use him, at least until we find a better one. 
And then we have the bands. I didn't explain what the bands are, but the fighter band, as I remembered, uh, gives you like better growths. Uh, improves your growth rate. For example, this one is the fighter band. So the fighter band gives you uh, more HP and strength, which is pretty good. The priest band is going to give you uh, more luck, a res. Not very useful for priest, uh, for rice. Um, and then we have the paladin band, which is one of the best ones. It increases HP and speed. Uh, so this is the ones we have, but we're gonna we're gonna see more. Um, I want to explain them all eventually, anyways. So yeah, let's just enough talking. We've been talking for too much. And we're gonna play. Uh, I do want to give the the speed band to Ike. He needs the speeds, I think. Honestly. So let's just do that. We're just gonna trade this card in Manara, but before I want to give speed to Ike, honestly, because Ike is just, uh, he just needs it. Alright, we'll just wait here. Go for attack, but then I'm in range of a, of a lot of enemies, I'll just wait. We're just gonna do some turtling tactics, as always. <laughs> Keep a chin up, Rolf. Boys aren't supposed to cry. Bro. Sexist. <laughs> but I'm so scared. Aren't you a little even scared mist? Of course I am, but listen, we'll be fine. My brother will definitely come and rescue us. Hm, yeah, you're right. I'm sure my brothers will be right there with them. I'm sure they will too. No more crying, got it? They are there. They're safe. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I didn't do no damage, this is good. So improving the the speed growth, I hope we can fix up at least for a couple of levels. Uh, Ike's first level. <laughs> oof and oof, very nice. And they just be common and be common and be common and be common. Like, just make a like a, a protective formation now. <laughs> and that's how it is. We can just finish up this dude. Just like that. Yes. I already know what to do. Do I know what to do though? Level up for Oscar. Now he doesn't have the 5% boost in HP and speed, but it's okay. He's still got magic skill, speed, defense, and rest. Oh my god. I'd be worried for Ike though. But if I heal him, it should be alright. I just didn't want Void to get attacked by that many people, but I think we'll be fine. We'll just risk it. I will get the healing, and that's the healing animation. It doesn't have like a full on healing animation in this game. That's how it goes. Uh, I think we're gonna put him here. So we don't get attacked by the other. And the fighter band gives plus plus HP and strength by 5% of the growth. So we can probably use that. Maybe on Oscar even. I don't think Void needs more HP and like strength growth. Ha! Ooh. And the extra HP we gave Ike before, it's turning out to be incredibly useful. Sadly, the fucking sword uses the one that attacked me first, which is very annoying. And attack Void. Yeah. Bruh. I 
Alright, so far though, we're doing okay. Ha! Who? So yeah, that's why giving the the angelic robe in the previous chapter on Ike is pretty useful, especially for this part. And thankfully, Titania comes now. I'm sure I told him to wait for me. I should have known to disobey your orders. They have no discipline. As a deputy commander of the Great Messengers, I cannot allow more people out more people to be harmed. Hell yeah. Titania is back! Thank you for coming, Titania. I needed you <laughs> so bad. Alright, finish up this guy. I'm gonna give you the fighter band though. I'm still kinda worried though, if I miss especially, but Smack! And use the units as best as you can for the best matchups, I'd say. Here comes this. This is pretty decent. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't think none of them have, have hand axe. This guy's not much of a threat, anyways, doesn't hurt me too much. Or stay here. I just kill him. I do just kill him. Let's do it. Alright, like. You need to get the bit of speed. That's the only thing I need. Plus, plus 5% boost on that. Very good. Level 4 HP, skill, and defense. No strength, no speed. What the fuck? Wait, it doesn't have an equipment. I have to actually equip it. Damn it. Whatever. We'll do it later. God damn. I thought it, it automatically equipped it. Now, I'm gonna check out with Titania if any of these enemies have like a hand axe. They don't seem to have any. Uh, so this guy's full scene attack, this guy's also full scene attack. But this guy has way more hit, so this guy's dangerous. I just remove him with Titania. Smacked. Titania is just the savior of this map, so pretty much the the fun part of this map and the strategy is just the Just the first just the first turns I'm Actually gonna move her here so they both of these guys don't like surround and Attack voids together both of them just in case So yeah, we're just doing it like a, some sort of phalanx Maybe like one damage, or like three damage. Excellent. Out of vulnerary. And this guy should not be too much of a threat. He's gonna do some damage, but he even missed. Pathetic. Boyd's level up is about to happen. I'm gonna give it the level up, in fact. Oh, really? Can you use the steel axe? Oh, I didn't talk about the skills either. We're gonna do it now. Pretty quickly. Uh, so you are D in access, and I think I think the yeah, this one is E two. Okay. I got the extra damage and then attack, and there you go. We may miss, but it's worth it to try to get the XP. I think. Yeah! Good smack! And I will have a look at the skills while we'll just move around. HP, skill, and resistance. How the fuck did you just got resistance and nothing like else? <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Tempest doubles by random effects. Can be good, can be back. Uh, at this moment, it's precisely pretty bad. <laughs> he has counter. Says that this is counter is reduced half the damage it deals with his unit. In early game, pretty trash, but uh, not an incredible uh, skill. And Oscar and Ike does not do not have any other ability. Sadly, sadly for them. We just advance now. I don't want to pull these guys with Titania, to be honest. 
There's no need to do it. Titania's gonna get all the all the XP. And she only receives one XP point, so you're really out of it punished in this early game by using your Jacob too much. Especially her. One of the best units in the game, no doubt about it. Huh? Right, we'll retreat now with her. We're gonna use the terrain and have a talk to Titania. Titania, I, I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm around without. We'll talk about it later. For the time being, keep your mind in the battle, like. Right. Oh, she's pissed. There we go. We actually equipped it. And he's got has to do the same. But I want to use Void. I don't like Tempest as an, as an ability, to be honest. Not too much. Right, now it is equipped. I made a little goof before. I'm sorry. A little goof, you know. A little goof happened. But it's okay. We have plenty of, of, uh, of terrain advantage now. We're good. Go. And these guys. Uh, they are very bad at strategizing their, their moves. The EA. Let's just go in without even thinking. How could they be like that? Alright, good. Oscar weakened. I killed. That's how it goes. Oof. And smacked and spoke. <laughs> yep. There he goes. More XP for Ike. A steel axe, okay. I think this is good. Oh! Ah, oh, come on! It's a bad time to fucking misclick. It's a fucking bad time to misclick. Why did I do that? I want the steel axe, to be honest. That's a bit great to do now, but I think it's okay. Fix it. Having a healer on the team, man. Feels so good. Okay. Why would you attack Titania? To just steal the XP from me? Is the AI that smart? <laughs> what is this? Alright. Oh, just this is, of course, the final enemies. It should be easy beans at this point. Huh? Also needed healing, but I'm gonna use this. As you can see, this is a different uh, sort of thicket. It does give you the same avoid and defense, but this one is called Heal Edge, which also heals you. And this one is also one of them. So having extra healing could be clutch in some situation. Right? Alright. Max, I do remember the boss moving, I think. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, there it is. So the mission is to rout the enemy. Alright. The boss is Ika now! And he's gonna be dropping a speed wing, so I can finally get some speed growth. A 16 attack. That's pretty dangerous, to be honest. Not really. It's fine. As long as we protect Reese, I think we should be alright. Alright. So 
so close. And now we try to do this, right? It doesn't really kill though. Can we kill this guy? No. I think that will be okay anyways. Poke. Right, so do I want to keep Oscar here? I want Ike to be attacked by the less possible enemies. So this is not a bad spot. Yes, this is not a bad spot. And I already got the spot I want, I think. So then we're gonna move Void here. So I cannot get attacked by more than two. And now we just need to protect Riz. We're gonna do it this way. Or Rice. Now is it possible? Yeah, good. Yo, good strats though, good strats. All right, so I think the boss will be attacking Boyd. Which is okay, he's in the thicket. Ha! Who? 99. Oh, this guy's just going, going to heal. Good. All right, so here we go. Ikanao is gonna attack. Grab won't lose, not to the likes of you. He does damage, but not that much damage. Void actually holding on on his own. Alright. So we're just gonna counterattack, right? Not with this, though. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. Smack. Smooked. Ike finishes this guy up. Well, the steel sword. We can get this. We're gonna see the steel sword model. As you can see, it's different than the iron one. Oh, and a crit to show it off. All right. <laughs> Come on. Get the extra boost. Now I can feel them. I can feel them. I can taste them. Level five, HP, strength, and rest. Well, he got strength. <laughs> I'm happy with that, to be honest. We're gonna trade here. I'm gonna give him back the iron sword because the steel sword really slows him down. Alright. So, you do 16 damage, 5 defense. It's like 16 damage. It's like 11 damage. So, he will die. And 16 damage. Is it 16? Yes, it is. 16 damage for 7 defense. Ike will be alright. So, you go here. I just don't want this guy to attack anyone else. And he cannot, so this is okay. Oscar's gonna keep poking, get, get, get some land level up while this guy keeps healing. I hope that vulnerary is not a vulnerary he drops, but... <laughs> it's free XP. Is it a droppable? No, it's not. Whatever. Alright, now we must heal Void. And the end of the turn is done. Perfectly played. <laughs> Indeed. He's being very annoying though. Oh, he wants to. Yeah, I know what he wants to do. Alright, we'll just. We'll just. Feed. This is sad, dude. Accept defeat. Come on. Can I just kill you? No. We could do it both of them though, we can do it together. Excellent. Follow him! Catch him! Oh. Bruh. What is this? Uh, he's, he's going to the thicket. I know he is. That's not enough to kill, sadly. But we're gonna close this guy in here. Come on, Oscar. They are making this battle longer than they have to. They're being very annoying. But we'll, I could just use Titania to be honest, but I don't see why not. I don't get slowed enough. Will you let 
the two of them go now. Sure, you can have them both, if you can beat me, that is. <laughs> Smacked. Oof. Void missing. Got that damn biorhythm. Eh, we don't need to do anything with Titania. Uh, here's the last potion. And this guy goes here. <laughs> Still not, not enough to get the final blow. God damn it, you dick. What did I said? Free XP. Uh, yep. He's just trapped here anyways. So he shouldn't be much of a problem. Get the level up for rice as well. Killing Boyd? Or not? <laughs> Brother. Yeah, this is it. This is good. Finish him off, Ike. Do it! <clears throat> this can't be. I don't deserve to move to sell swords like you. Oh. Get him out of there. Yes. Juicy XP. Oh, the speak win for Ike. And that's it. Can they talk? Nope. Only one enemy left that will die on enemy's turn. To the hands of Oscar. The Lance Cav. Mm. Magnificent gameplay. What can I say? <laughs> Unstoppable. Very good, very good. We did it! Right, somehow we did it. Somehow? What do you mean somehow? We did it because we're better than them. Boyd, calm yourself. What what you did was a direct defiance of orders I explicitly gave you. How it all turned out is an issue altogether. Especially since Titanicus was just soul of them. Deputy Commander, I take full responsibility. The failure is mine. I accept your, apo accept your apologies. Oh, Christ, what am I supposed to do with you two? <sighs> I think I'll leave it up to... You two to the commander. He'll know how to handle you. I'm sure. Now let's find Mason Rolf. According to the bandit chief. In that shack back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please let us go. I said let us go. Please. Brother. Everyone. You came. Oh, I'm scared. Rolf. Oscar. Help me. Rolf. I'm here too. Boyd. <laughs> Stop crying! You don't need to worry. We'll get you out of here. That's right. Buck up, buddy. I'll try. You harm them either, and I'll see you dead. Shut up! You shut your stinking trap! If all this you alive, you'll throw your weapons down. If you don't, I'll start with a girl. Ah! No! <laughs> Stop! Wait! Yeah! I'm putting down my weapons. See? Small move, wench. Deputy Commander, we're here to save them. All of you, f f back off. Okay. Dang. <laughs> so now that you're all unharmed, which means all I can do is watch for you. <laughs> oh, I got this whiny ride like a fatling pig. Sorry, I just really want to read that. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. Fine, it just fainted. Oof. Damn. Thanks. I don't know, who shot it? A single arrow, right between the eyes. Who else could have made a shot like that? No one that's who. A voice. <laughs> don't you two don't owe me a little gratitude? As it did save your lives. This is Shinon, one of the... One of the other members of the mercenary group is brutal. And the other one is Gatry. Deputy Commander, Shidon. Oh, you're both so cruel. With his armor on, you know I can't run that fast. Shidon, Gatry. So that's where you went, I tell you. Of course. And we did reinforcements. I'm glad it wasn't a waste of time. 
Well, Titania on her own would have demolished the map, but with Shinon and Gatry, they would have destroyed them. Well done, both of you. In the end, we got the feather. We got, I got to feather someone. So it was worth the rush. Oh, I did with sweat. That was hard work. Hell yeah. Beautiful. I love the story, dude. It's so nice, so detailed. Just jerk! <laughs> Let's head home. My goodness, what a day this has been. Indeed. What an episode this has been, wasn't it? Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I hope to see you in the next spot of the Let's Play. Tell me and let me know how, how you're feeling with it. If you're enjoying it or not. I really enjoyed this. This is very fun. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I hope you have a good one. Um, stay safe. And, you know, see you next time. Love you all. Goodbye. Oh, wait. I'll do it here. Yeah. Nope. Here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>